and a fiddle about with my pants, I'd be very grateful if you wait till I got them on. Sorry. I don't want them. I know where they've been. <laughs> I'm Sally. Salute. That's Shakespeare, that is. That's Roman for hello, sweetheart. Is it? I'm your new dresser. Well, you're in the nick of time, then. I got a rip in my toga. Oh, whoops. <laughs> they got a job lot of Cleopatra. Second hand tat. Hello, Freddy, it's Sid. I missed the third at entry, mate. Check me accumulator, will you? Oh, it's Richard Burton's. Is it? I've been using it for years. The toga. Oh, for crying out loud. Do me a shilling each way on twice nightly. Could do with a good clean, I know that. Don't get personal. Oh, come on, Freddy, it's only a couple of bob. She's had her money, I'm on my allowance. Good man, catch you later. Whitey Downey, could you do me a favour? I've only got two hands. So, what's the problem? No, that's a lovely shade of pink. I could live with that. And cut! And and oh. 97, take one on the end. Check that one, please. Thank you, sir. You're very well. Wendy said I'm your third dresser since Monday. Is that true? I've been the victim of a strange lesbian conspiracy. I hope you're not one of them. No, I'm not. How'd you get the job, then? I wrote to the studios. I got the usual we'll put you on file. I never really dreamt I'd really be here. Well, it's not that surprising. I seem to get two dozens of you. You got a boyfriend? No. I live with my mum. Oh, lovely. Do you like fruit? Um... Oh, what is it? Passion fruit. Looks horrible. It's tropical. You can only get them down Covent Garden. Go on, have a taste. No, thanks. You want to live forever? Go on. All right. If you insist. Careful! Oh, whoops! Mm. Not like that. Then my chin. Yeah, let me show you. You can't just bite into it because the skin is very bitter. The flesh, on the other hand, is very sweet. So before you can eat it, you have to make a little incision like this, then open it up like this. There you go. Oh. Nice. Lovely. That is nice. It's true, isn't it? What about? You. Every word. Especially the rumours. Where's the Yaddy? I'll be back. Not necessarily. Some of you I never see again. This is an absolute disgrace! I've been a hostage to this bloody profession for more years than I care to remember, but this takes a biscuit, this does. Does it? Yes. And I'm not talking your common old rich tea. I'm not even talking custard cream. I'm talking the full Garibaldi. Oh, here's another little lamb stumbled from the altar with a knickers round her ankle. Keep your filthy innuendos to yourself. Well, then you keep your filthy in your endos off the oh, unit. I don't know who you are, dear, but I'm sure you've got better things to do than stand there gawping at me. You're not gawping at anyone. <laughs> Didn't see that then, did she? I'll have you know I've spoken to my agent. I shall scream a blue murder at Peter the next time I varder his horrible eek. What's your problem? First AD said this was a tatty old caravan and more fool you, but it's not, is it? This is a merry traveller. Correct. It's a merry bloody traveller. It's my merry traveller. <laughs> that dressing room block is falling to bits. And there's no hot water. Piper, not here, mate. Ask a boiler, TV, or mug guns. And there's a toilet. There's me holding it in all day. They're giving you your own toilet. <laughs> and a shower. All for a man whose idea of personal hygiene is opening the window a snidge. It's an outrage. This is my night. This is my night. I was in the first. I was in sergeant. I was in nurse. I was in constable. I was in cabin. Cabin is unadulterated shite. Oh, I'd say if I'm anything you're not, it's shite. Perfectly reasonable supposition. Afternoon, ladies. I just popped in to say, if you're having trouble with your ablutions, I have a super oh, spa yeah. shower unit in the back lot, which is entirely at your disposal. Yeah. Oh, you're very welcome. Oh. 
You know, it's a short step from seducing the walk-ons to eating them properly. Don't bother me, mate. As long as they keep giving me their romantic leads, I keep doing the research. Now, come at lunchtime. You'll be busy in that van. I shall pull your wheel chocks out and you'll bounce all the way to sound stage four. Oh, hello. La plume de ma tante has fallen in the crepe Suzette. Has it? Well, I've just been shot in the Rue de Quarters. Oh, it's very painful. Well, yes, it was. No, stop missing the bell. Give me the password. Bernie. Shh. Couldn't lend us a pony, well, could you? No. Oh, come on, mate. I'm in deep in your book. He's going to kill me. I shouldn't worry. He's about to be acquitted. You should eyeball this. This one's reached a level of cinematic sophistication hitherto unwitnessed in this neck of the woods. Yes, a sort of farce noir, genuine homage. I'm very good. There's yeah, some real comic chemistry between the characters for one. What do you think? I'm not in it. We noticed. Shall we see Jiggles? Certainly not. God blame. Not that. I meant like this. Who's she? That's the new girl. She's got a lovely screen presence. Mm. She said my beard was like Fenella's minge. Kenneth! Watch your mouth. See? I wouldn't confide this to a reprobate like you were it not bound to frustrate you beyond all reason. But she was a good enough kisser to give me the half hard. You're joking. Mm. The perverse pneumatics of desire never ceased to astonish. Hasn't happened to me since Jim Dale went down the stairs on that hospital trolley. <laughs> she a real blonde, you think? How would he know? You're Sydney? Yeah. I'm Barbara. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. 36C. What? Go on, have a good butcher's. All those wondering eyes drive me mad. I get double vision just trying to establish eye contact. Oh. Right. Good God in heaven, he's blushing. Shut your face. <laughs> <laughs> He's got good calves, isn't he? Mm. I don't wish to venture an opinion. I was just saying, you've got good calves. Thanks. I heard they offered you second slave girl and you told them to shove it. I did, you know. Only three lines and two of them were feeds. And like they're doing some post-sync on spying. I had to pop in to dub buttocks. I told them they'd have to dub your buttocks. I've got to say bottom instead. It's a real sodding effort. Buttocks. Bottom. Buttocks. Bottom. Bottom. Buttocks, see? Eh? Oh, the ineptitude. I told you you wouldn't get your buttocks passed. Really? Well, I'm sick to death of serving the fantasies of inefficient hacks. Oh, don't bang on. All right, everyone, stand by for the take. And quiet on set, please. Our entertainments echo our dilemmas. Permanent values have been utterly neglected. And the devouring grasp of the cheap gag has strangled the spirit. Will you pack it in? Some of us are trying to do some serious acting here. No, oh, pardon moi. Come on up, Kenny. And action. Salute. Cut. <laughs> Yes, well, I can't wait to see his Hamlet. I think I just did. <laughs> oh, have you met my mother? Pleased to meet you. Oh, my God, why doesn't he just leave her at home like everyone else does? Hello, Mrs. Hawtree. How's your hip? Thank you. Oh, she's fine. She's fine. Is she fixed? She's getting married on Saturday. What's the day? Thursday. That's a bit tight. Even for you. <laughs> How's your wife, Sydney? She's fine. It's not a big deal or anything. It's just nipping the registry and pop down the boozer afterwards. Oh, I could do with a nice wallow back down the East End. That'd be lovely. Want to go to a wedding, Mum? Mm. On Saturday, we're invited down the registry. Oh, oh Joni. Oh, thank you, sweetie. You could pick up a bit of rough. What I've got's rough enough, thank you. No palaver, just till death is to part and a large gin. <laughs> Good night, Ken. 
Yes, if you like. You can come to the pub. I love a wedding. We can't decide on an honeymoon. Oh, Matera's nice, apparently. Where the cake comes from? It's where Kenneth Horn goes. Round the Horn to Matera. Lovely. How is Ronnie? Oh, well, he deserves a nice holiday after one's with Nick. How's he settling? Oh, not bad. I met him at the gate, you know. Got taxi back to the flat and had the old place redecorated. Do you like it? Well, oh, you like the bedroom ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> what was he in for? He was fitted up. Receiving, I ask you. Doping greyhounds is about his mark. I don't use anything out the bathroom cabinet and I've got a fridge full of mints. <laughs> he knocks about with the craze, don't he? No, he doesn't. I do. And I'm having no one knocking him. I wouldn't knock him. Good. Don't tell him I was, because I wouldn't. All right. Yeah, don't mention me at all, in fact. Oh, give over. I'm sorry, but, Charlie, I think your mother's on fire. Oh, oh sweetheart. Oh, well, put her out, then. <laughs> Silly old mayor. <laughs> that was lunch, thank you. Stand Garbo was always shot through a gauze, you know. I should be shot through a gauze. You should be shot through a blanket. You should be shot and then wrapped in one. Fancy a dry martini? Come to the van. Put your feet up. Up where he likes them, keeping his ears warm. Kenny! Will you belled up? I can't anyway. I've got some more dubbing to do. Right. Sorry. Some other time. That'd be nice. Come on, you're not safe with him. She's safe as ours is. Yes, in Dresden. Afternoon, ladies. Oh, put it away, please. <laughs> is that your type? Short blondes. Absolutely. Unless there's an art in a month. It's May. Or a white. My pleasure. Have a sit down. Thank you. Do you like fruit? Oh, um, yes. You want some? <laughs> Thank you. That's a passion fruit. Is it? Why? I have no idea. I've never had a passion fruit. Well, you can't just bite into it because the skin is very bitter. The flesh, on the other hand, is very sweet. So before you can eat it, you have to pull the skin back like this. And there's the flesh, look. Wow. Because it's tattooed on his bottom. Because it's tattooed on his bottom. Because it's tattooed... Oh, bollocks. Oh, there you go, that fits. Get <laughs> <laughs> mm. your tongue in there. I am. How is it? It's... Hmm? Mm. Delicious. <laughs> I'm all wet. Stay that way, it gets better. Do you want some? No, no, no. You enjoy yourself. Mm. Mm. I'm all sticky. You taste good. Have you got a tissue? Who needs tissues? Yeah. Are you decent? Oh, hello. Hello. Am I interrupting? You said any time. Oh, heavens, I'm late. I better go and get dressed. I'm going to the premiere of Dr. Zhivago tonight. Ah, oh, that's nice. Who with? Oh, I never know till I get in the limo. Lovely. Thanks for the shower and the thingy. Anytime. Bye, Sid. Bye-bye. Hello. She's got enough stars in her eyes. She don't need one in her ruddy knickers. Can't abide a woman swearing. Welcome, Ronnie. God help him, then. I'll drink to that. I got whiskey, vodka, gin. Bleeding hell. Oi. I mean, my, my, what a marvellous selection of beverages. Is anyone get out of here vertical? Was it the wrong idea about me? That's me and the entire British Isles, then. You're mistaking the man, but a screen persona. What sign are you? 8406, Chiswick Roundabout. <laughs> are you married? Married alive. No, seriously. Happily, then. Very happily, thank you. This time? It's been a few, then. A couple. Take my advice. Don't get married. Find someone you don't like. Buy him an house. Ronnie was married before. He was married when I met him. 
Hans with him nine months before I found out. He was working us in shifts. This is the man you're going to marry? He won't mess around again. A leopard cannot change his spots. No, but it can have its balls cut off. Well, if you get married, I respect that. Would you like some fruit? No, I'm fine. Go and have a piece of fruit. I'm not really bothered. I'm not talking coxes here. I'm talking serious fruit. What sort of fruit? You ever had one of these? What is it? Passion fruit. Where's it come from? Tahiti. I don't think I'd like it. Well, you never know till you try, will you? Well, go on, then. No, no, no. You can't just bite into it, because the skin is very bitter. The flesh, on the other hand, is very sweet. So, before you can eat it, you have to pull back the skin like this. And there's the flesh. Look. Oh, it's all pink. Give me the knife. No, no, no. Well, I want to cut a bit off. You can't do that. That'd be sacrilege. Go and put your tongue in there. Show me. No, go on. No, no, you show me. All right. Do as I do. Like this. And then like this. Oh, I see. Like cunnilingus. <laughs> and when you finish that, have a banana. Is that a fishing line? Yes. If that's a fishing line, it's props. If it's sewn to my bra, it's costume. <laughs> Couldn't lend us 500, could you? How much? I've had a bit of a dodgy run. That's half your entire fee. There's a dead cert at Newbury. You had a dead cert at Aintree last week. They fell at the third and they shot him. Don't come much deader than that. All right, everyone, we're going for a take. Final check. Thank you. He's going to do his nut. Quiet on set, please. And turn over. Mark it. Slate 72, take one. Hang on, Sydney, turn your back. Yes, you. Why me? Because you're not in the scene. No, the caterer is. <laughs> Just turn round. God's truth. I'd like to see. Camera still running. All right, can we concentrate, please? If I were your husband, I wouldn't let you do it. But you're not, are you? Don't you start. Turn over. Still running. Action. Model climbers gone right down a pan since they legalized you. Like... Oh, hark, the poor man, they're all Flynn. What? He was bent and all. And almost as well hung as oh, me, apparently. Really? Only place you'd be well hung is the Isle of Man. And action. Now, let's get those chests out. And in and out. And in and out. And in and out. And in and out. Oh! What was that? I knew you'd turn round. Well, how many flesh and blood? You're a disgrace. Get out of my eye line. <laughs> Could we please have a bit of concentration? It's about to piss down. Can we settle down, then, and hold those first positions? Thank you. Of course, my ego is not hostage to my gonads. Women exist for me to bitch with, or to bitch about, or to bitch about with. Not to satisfy an adult libido. Shut up, you pufter. It's lucky you left South Africa. If the crops had failed, he'd have shot his entire family. Not before I shot you, lad. Sure. Turn over. Turn over. Libidinous cretin. Unnatural axe, mate. Look in the Bible. Oh, cut! cut. Look, will you two please shut up? God, cover it up! That honey wagon is an absolute disgrace. Here we go again. 
you think with my arse, I'd at least be entitled to a decent lavatory. You're not the only one with an arse. Bitter bloody misery, it is my fundament. I'll give you oh, a really really nice getting hot okay. hemorrhoids for lunch again. Bum trouble is just a dirty joke to the likes of you lot, isn't it? Because you've never suffered. You wouldn't know. And having the wit to imagine the abject creeping horror of an ailing anus. Oh, shut up, Kenny. The agony of it, the endless suffering, the wretched torment. Do shut up. You don't know what suffering is, mate. I've had piles. First I've heard of it. That's because I don't dish them up every bleeding mealtime. i got piles that put yours right in a shape, mate. That is hardly likely. Five hundred quid, i got twice as many as you and half as many to the pan. Well, you two built up. I'm trying to eat. Who are you under? The GP. <laughs> you can't trust some GP off Gunnersbury Avenue with your anus. You want your bum in the hands of a Harley Street man. You had the elastic band. Mm. The deep, icy probings. The sharp prick of that horrible hypodermic. Yes, thank you. That's enough. The twang of rubber as it grips the doomed Philip of your mutating organ. Let me out. Please. Oh, let's Manners, please. Many says keep an eye out for them. I should Coco. I haven't looked down a toilet for 40 years. Don't intend to start now. Please. Of course you can, darling. Oh, you're sopping wet. All right. He's just sulking because I corpsed him. You did not corpse me. He had a bet on with the clapper loader. He wouldn't go to a second take all week. I don't need a second take. Unless it's snogging. I'm an actor, mate. You're a cheap vaudevillian. Whereas I am a classically trained thesbian. <laughs> I've worked with Orson Welles. So have I. I've played Shakespeare. Well, so have I. I have read a book. I've sat on the steps of the Colosseum and debated the nature of man with Sophocles, I have. Oh, no. Kelly! Oh, bloody hell. Honestly, how you expect to maintain a decent working relationship with people, I have no idea. Rudolf Valentino was a farter. His leading ladies never complained. They were silent films. I consider it one of my more singular accomplishments that I can display an uncommon degree of eloquence from both ends oh. simultaneously. Oh. That's it. Oh. That's it. Oh. <laughs> Whenever you walk in the room. Don't start. I can't help it. I can't handle it. I know. I'm old. Never been a looker. Seed. Self-pity, I don't know. It's not attractive in a man. Do you have to jump in the deep end all the time? Can we talk about the weather or something? It's raining. I love you. No, you don't. You fancy me, and I'm having none of it, and that's the end of the matter. I mean it. Sydney, how old are you? Fifty-two. Fifty-six. How old am I? Seventeen. I'm thirty-two. What's that about, Sydney? Why can't you fancy someone your own age? Have you seen the women my age? You ever kiss one? The lips go all furry back, so the thighs go all puttin'. Sydney! Look, the thing is... <sighs> Change the subject. It's still raining. I still love you. You want to watch it? Watch what? They never used to do lunch. People are starting to talk. Who? The entire unit, that's who. Well, it's none of their business, but I'm a happy married woman, all right? Oh, is that why I gave you the Rottweiler? It is a driver. You have to work at a marriage. Well, might have had a decent marriage if I hadn't had a lousy honeymoon. It wasn't my fault you had a lousy honeymoon. And how do you know I had a lousy honeymoon? I was there. Precisely. If you and your mother and your sister hadn't been there, we might have had a few hours alone. Anyway, it rained all bloody week. I wish I'd never invited myself. 
I thought you might distract us from the slow realization we'd actually done it. Mr. James. My name's Eddie. Well, whatever it is you want, I haven't got it on me at the moment. I'm Mrs. Knight's driver. I see. If you wouldn't mind. Oh. Sure, no problem. Who's it to? My mother. What's her name? Mum. Right. you are. I can't help it. I like them young. It's a sexual watch name, isn't it? Preference. What page? 36. You don't go around telling Kenneth to find a good woman, do you? Treat me like a dirty old sod. You are a dirty old sod. So you don't fancy me? Sid, I don't not fancy you. So you do? I didn't say that, I said I didn't not. You do or you don't? No, Sid. I will or I won't and I'm not going to. Top of the page. I haven't looked at another woman in months. Seed, you're married. Be the end of our friendship. All your objections are cliches. This whole thing's a cliche. First time I clapped eyes on you. You had a woman in your shower. I'm not interested in anyone else. Why do you insist on treating me like this asshole? This leering, lecherous, grubbing bastard! I don't want anyone else. It's you I want. Sydney. Well, you're a good kisser, I'll give you that. I'm good all over. You are. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Can you autograph, please? No, bugger off. Oh, God. Traitor. Assassin! Go home, silly queen. Sid! Ow! We've wrapped! I thought you might need your trousers. I'm just letting him in line. I've only got one line and you know it off by heart. Sally, the thing I admire most in a woman is discretion. The thing you admire most in a woman is yourself. Mum's the word, then. No, Sid. Wanker's the word. It's a wrap. we better get a move on. Oh, oh. oh God. What I really wanted was some advice. I don't know if I should wait and see if I got the part in the Persuader or something. Go to the RSC. I mean, Roger Moore was very sweet, but the RSC is the RSC, except it wasn't a very big part. I'll have to take my clothes off. Did you hurt yourself? No. Is Sid dressed? No. Yes. No. Hurry up. You know what I wish? I wish I had smaller breasts. Then I get to play some women with small breasts. And they're always the best parts. What I'd really like is to play women with, with no breasts at all, you know? Like in Epson. Absolutely. 
Anyway, that's not mean negative. I'm meeting Michael Winner for a drink at Liscargo tonight. Just for a chat, though. You never know, do you? Maggie, would we just do... Oh, I know, I know. I don't know why we did that. I mean, I know you'd had a royal flush, but, I mean, why so suddenly? I mean, I don't want you to think I'm a complete tart or anything. I always liked you. Maggie, are you in there? Oops. Shh. Oh, you're looking quite okay. Hello, sweetheart. What are you still doing here? Everyone's gone home. Oh, I was just lying down. I fell a kip. I want to talk to you. Well, let's go to the pub. I don't want us to be seen in the pub. Well, come what else then? Anywhere else. I'm sick of this place. I want to talk to you. Give us a drink while you're at it. God, hang on a minute. The jolly green jive. Oh, shut up. Have you seen Miss Winslow? She's with Sid. Mm, is she indeed? Come on, sweetheart, hurry it up. I want to get the jenny off. For God's sake. I've run out of lemon. I don't care. I know a little place down there, Miss Smith. Will you sit down? Oh, right, all right. Nothing to worry about. She's with Sydney. Oh, right. You know, that is not on. Well? You snogged me, Sydney. Yeah, well, uh, I'm sorry about that. It was my fault. I forgive you. Let's go and get a cup of tea. Good God. The bus has driven off. I'm sopping wet and I've got nowhere to change. Oh, sweetheart. Go in the bedroom bit and towel yourself down. No! Why not? She's filthy. You're right, she needs a shower. You ready to plumb it in? Yeah, but... In it... you Bloody hate location. Look, look, look. Why don't we all go and have a nice drink? What is wrong with you? Nothing, I'm just parched. I'm sure it's all perfectly innocent. Ronnie reckons you lot get up to all sorts. Oh, no, 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 no. It's a commonly held myth, you see. God's truth. What? It's Eddie. Oh, bloody hell. I knew Ronnie would get a sniff of this. What are you doing? Hi. No! You must have to look out for any Yankee Panky. Well, what's he going to think? We're just sitting down having a chat. We're both decent. Is there a towel? Oh, bloody hell, it's an orgy. It's like the swamp lands of the Matagasi around here. <laughs> Hold on, Kenny. I've lost my shoe. Hang on. Sally, do us a favour and keep quiet for five minutes, will you? Why? Because you haven't got your clothes on. And get your clothes on. I can't do both in here. Hey, Sally, what will do his nut? Right, Jesus. Oh, that's ruined, that is. I'll be in the bedroom with No! Sydney! That's the first place you'll look. Hide in here. Not me there. Think of me at all. I'm claustrophobic. Think of mine then. Anybody home? Get it. May we entree? I was just on my way out. Oh, kill the breeze. All on your own, some. Yeah, well. In you come, Eddie. He's got a soggy sock. I was looking for Mrs. Knight. She's not here. Can he use your bathroom? No. Why not? It's a bit whiffy. Would you mind if I spoke to Mr. James in uh, private? No, not at all. I'll leave you to it. Why don't we go to the bus? Because it's driven off. Kenny, best of British. Ronnie asked me to have a word in your ear. A word? Yeah. He asked me to ask you nicely if you got designs on his wife. Designs? Have you, uh... Have I what? Are oh, you shagging his missus? No. Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not at all. You've got a bit of a reputation and Ronnie thought. Well, you can tell Ronnie there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Well, it's just that you hear a lot of stories about you. Like. Eddie, I can completely reassure you about this. Me and Mrs Knight are just fellow artists. Fact, we're barely friends. In actual fact, I'll tell you something else. It's the last time I shared a dressing room. Now, don't you go jumping to conclusions. Thanks a lot, Kenny. For thanking all others together in oh, the eye. Mind of... your own bloody business. Now I've got from here to Stanmore to convince Eddie we're not having an affair. I'm sorry. Don't be, because we're not. 
But guess what? We almost did. I'd like you to know that, Sid. We very nearly did, but now we're not, all right? Sid? Sydney? I'm fine. Oh. Off you go, mate. Bad news, I'm afraid, Mr. James. We need an altogether more accurate reading than this. You what? I'll get the nurse. There's more than one way to take a temperature, you know. Cold, blimey. You. <laughs> Couldn't lend us a few quid, could you? There's an orderly who runs a book, but he'll only take cash. Still owe Ronnie 500 quid. Yeah, I'm getting round to it. You've seen this? Yeah. I passed him in the street only a few months back. I was driving down Piccadilly. Looks as though he hadn't slept for a week, unshaven. He looked dreadful. So full of liquor, he didn't see me. I got the car parked, let it go. Don't you feel guilty? Funny place to do it, though, Australia. You ever been? No. Makes perfect sense. See Naples and die. See Melbourne and top yourself. <laughs> I don't want to go like this. When I go, I want to go like my dad. Peaceful, in his sleep. Not screaming and kicking like the passengers on his bus. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you think that, doesn't it? Careful, Sid. Visiting time. Come back go. danger of having a horrible, messy affair. Oh, don't say no, that. Sid, I've given it a lot of thought. I've thought about it, and I've come to a decision. And my decisions are final. Couldn't we No, just... I've decided. Please, go. I think we should get it over with. Your what? Nothing permanent, nothing public. One night of bliss, and that's your lot. Take it or leave it. I'll take it. I thought you might. <laughs>
Were you going to phone or not? I said I would. I usually do. We should be on ice. Call room service. Oh, no, you can't do that. I think we're up to something. You're feeling guilty. No, I'm not. You are. Well, shall I stay or shall I go? I don't know. Well, make up your mind. Close up on Sydney, thank you. No, no, no. No angle. Reverse. Mid shot. Not in a comedy, Sydney. So look on your face, I'd want to see. You want a bet? All right. Low angle, reverse, close up. It's better. Thank you. a high-angle top shot. This is heaven, this is... No, it's not. It's me and Brighton with me top off. Heaven. <sighs> Sydney. <sighs> what? Turnover. It's been a long day. Well, it's not over yet. No, 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 stop. Stop. Age before beauty. Then you look like Marilyn Monroe. I'll get a reputation. I'm late. See you tonight. Sydney. Not only is it a crappy little part, it's a crappy little part that crapulous little Queen Autry turned down, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> They're insulted. I mean, how dare they? We'll go back home, then. <laughs> I intend to. You can all wallow in this drivel without me. I'm sorry, but the sight of your battered old mug running around leering up skirts is no longer the side-splitting sight it used to be. Oh, thank you. There comes a time in every man's life when he can no longer snog young women without appearing something of a dirty old sod. A benchmark you passed in the late 1950s. That is charming. You've got a very grubby image. At least I haven't got a grubby Moroccan sex life. Oh, yes, go on, throw your little stones from the ruined greenhouse of your own sad lechery. By all means, pronounce judgment on the divine splinter of my sexual proclivities. If you can catch sight of it through the epim forest of your own lust for lie. It's unnatural for a man to fancy other men. Ken, he doesn't fancy other men, he fancies himself. Other men are just the next best thing. <laughs> <laughs> I've been up since five. I'm going to get an early night. Good night. Not night, night. God bless. Good night, sweetheart. God bless. Oh, what's another drink?
if you were up and down those stairs twice and early, just for a gawp at madam, you'll be back in the Royal Free Hospital any day now. But there were times, dear, you make me feel so bad. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Good, because we're going to do the old ruddy thing over again. <laughs> now remember, if you are driving home and you've had a drink, don't forget to take the car. Good night. <laughs> Look me in the eye, says Brighton. Brighton was Brighton. Oh, it was that much of a disaster, wasn't it? It wasn't a disaster, it well, was. What was it? I just wanted to get it over with. I wanted you to get it out of your system. I thought you just wanted to give me one, wallop. Oh, that is chuck. Look, I'm 25 years younger than you. We're both married. We're both unfaithful. It doesn't exactly all go well, does it? I just want to go home in the evening and find you there. Sid, you're going to have to stop this. This is going to make you ill again. What's this? Doctor certificate. What for? Fit as a fiddle. I can see your doctor certificate. You're still worried about my ticket. My ticket's fine. Sydney. It's dead in black and white. My God. Who's all mine? Where'd you get this? Doctor's orders. I'm exhausted. Come on, shift it. Come on, my son. Come on now. Come on, come on. Yes, yes. Hold it there. Hold it a bit. There, there. Hold it there. Come on, Sandy Cliffs. Come on, Sandy Cliffs. Come on, my son. Come on, there. Come. Yes. Go on then. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go. If you doubt the aerial still, it might just have slipped past on the inside. Thank you, ladies and 
and gentlemen, that's a clean show. Your call tomorrow is 6.25. 6.25, thank you. Hello, Joan. Wife, family. If it wasn't for them, you'd be skint, drunk and unemployed. Whatever happened to what's his name? Good night. Hey, sweet, sweet, sweet. What's your name? Sorry. Oh, that's a pretty name. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey, I'm mate. Right. Enjoy the show. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah, yeah, tell your friends. Yeah. Shake your hand, sweet. Oh, thank you. <laughs> there you go, sweetheart. Good night. Good night. Good night. Got a message from Ron. That's nice. He told me to tell you it's not so much the money, and it's not so much you shagging his wife. It's more you shagging his wife when you owe him so much money. He feels that's taking the piss somewhere. Well, I hadn't thought about it quite like that, but on reflection, he's absolutely right. I told him you've got a dodgy ticker. He told me not to frighten you too much. How much is too much? Dampen his order, that's what he said. Is your order dampened? Sup in. Right then. Ouch. That's it then. Let's get going. Well done. Everything ready, is it? Everything's as you requested, sir. Lovely. Where is she then? Here I am, Your Majesty. Well, hurry up. We're running a bit late. Well, is this it? Isn't there going to be a vic or anything? We don't need all that. I made a state. I do, you will, and Bob's your uncle. <laughs> Fantastic. Very good for me. Check that one, please. Oh, bro. Have a cup of tea, sir. Yeah. Where's this? It's a little present. I was in foils. That's a bookshop. It's the definitive work. I thought you could do some research. I don't do research. But you could pick up a few tips. I don't need any tips to perform this pile of nonsense. I didn't mean for the film. I meant your private life. Just a thought. What? You know what? No, I don't. Leave me alone. Why should I? He's not of your persuasion. Oh, please yourself. It's my first job, Miss Windsor. Oh, what a beauty! It must be two foot long or even more. It isn't short or narrow. It's nice and round and fat. I never thought a marrow could grow as big as that. So how? How do you find out? It's not stupid. Oh, maybe we should pack it in. Good. Or you could get a divorce. Look at what? Where do you come from? Oh, sorry, sir. I've lost me woggle. Not from where I'm standing. <laughs> you said you wanted a divorce. That was about him and me, not you and me. What is there in Stanmore, anyway? So yourself, you never see him. A Merc in the drive. Daimler. Daimler in the drive. Merc's in the garage. A Merc in the garage. Next to the Jag. But apart from the motors, what is there in Stanmore? About 200,000 in used notes and a marriage, Sydney. If you're so keen on divorce, you do the leaving. Don't be ridiculous. You see? I'm not going to leave Val. I know you're not. This has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with it. You love your wife and you love your kids. You want your cake and eat it and then you want more cake. All I want... It's over, Sid. Now, listen. I've listened. Now you listen. It's over. I'll get over it.
Stocks. I found them round the back of the BBC. Peter said he'd give me 50 quid for them. That is so sad. Yeah, it's bleeding tragic, mate. <laughs> Here, who do I have to sleep with to get out of this business? Me. <laughs> They've got rid of Charlie. Charlie? Charlie got rid of himself. Charlie was so full of lemonade he couldn't perambulate, let alone articulate. He wanted better billing. Uh, let that be a warning to us all. I was going to ask for a little rice. Oh, that's the point, isn't it? Put the fear of God into us and keep the money down. Oh, this is awful. They couldn't drop me, could they? Yeah. Well, we're running out of steam, they won't have to. Rothwell's had it. I'm getting gagged for the third time around. I've got to do another flash. This is my last, anyway. I said I'd only do it if they cut the stock scene. Not being pelted with rubbish at my age. Stock's still in? It is not. Tuesday, C97. Captain Fancy. Villages and yokels. Construction erect stocks. What day is it? Tuesday. I've had enough of this duplicity. I can't look at a tomato without breaking out. I think they can get away with blue murder. You'll do it. I will not. Uh, first positions and stand by, please. Okay, we're going for a take. Quiet on set. And turn over. Stand running. Camera speed. One, three, four, take one. And action. You must give up the pleasures of the flesh and leave off, leave off the part of temptation and simply cease your little beast. Cease to follow the part of the devil. Cut. Check that, please. Can we go again? What uh, for? I got the words wrong. It transposed a bit. It was fine. I'd like to go again. I'd like to get the bloody words right. All right, we'll go again. Come on again. Make up. First position, please. One, three, four, take two. And action. You must give up the pleasure to the pleasure. Leave off, leave off the part of temptation and chimney cease. Cease you little mix to follow the part of the devil. Cards, check that, please. Sydney, you're supposed to be putting up a fight. Well, he gave in. He's not meant to give in. So in the script, it gives in. So she snogs him, doesn't say anything about him snogging her back. Hair in the gate. <sighs> Sorry. Bugger. Going again. Going again. <clears throat> One, three, four, take three. Action. You must give up the pleasures of the flesh and leave off. Leave off the path of temptation and you cease. Cease, you little minx, to follow the path of the devil. Sorry. Cut. Sorry. Can we go again? Sorry. All right, going again. Going again. First positions, everybody. Oh, oh my God. All right, boys, settle down. I don't like it. Who's oh, mine? Steady. You're all right. No, I don't like it. Get me down. All right, get her down. Oh, thanks, darling. Good work. Very great, Steady. Oh, Charlie. You can do yours. <laughs> <laughs> He was touching you up. He was helping me down. He was taking liberties. Sorry, Sid. Well, don't you apologise. No, I hate horses. You've never told me you hated horses. You never bleed an arse. If you don't like horses, you shouldn't be on horse. You shouldn't have let him put you on horse. Could we calm down and shoot this, please? The pubs are open. <laughs> he had his hand on your bottom. You don't need to have your hand on somebody's bottom to help him off an horse. You don't need to put your tongue on someone's ear to wish a Merry Christmas, but it's never stopped you. All right, that's it, that's it, that is it. I'm sorry, but I'm absolutely going to lose it. I mean, I cannot shoot comedy in an atmosphere like this. You can shoot comedy in a bloody circus. This is a bloody circus. Ah, oh, bully. Um, right, one. Um, 
Alan, I think we'll call lunch. Right. OK, everyone. Lunch. There has been something of a discussion at lunch, and it has fallen to me on behalf of your fellow cast and the entire crew to inform you that you're behaving like a lovesick teenage imbecile. Thank you. The sooner you put an end to this ludicrous affair, the better. Thank you, Kenny. I can fight my own battles. Of course, those sporadic pleasures of the flesh I myself enjoy, I have no intention of sharing with anyone else. Kenny, sod off. I hope you've calmed down. Yes, I've calmed down. Sectaholic. Shirt lifter. South African. How uh, dare you. Will you stop it? You're as pathetic as each other. That is a slur. I do not feel the need to wield my penis in the pursuit of dominance. How's your mother? Irrelevant. Huh. Dominating mother plus weak or absent father equals puffed her mates. Common knowledge. Seed, we have to talk. Kenny, the runner's looking for you. Scene 97. Oh, no, I refuse to do scene 97. There's 30 extras. Right, that is it. This is the final straw. Finito, la fan. <laughs> Sid, they're going to want you in your frock. Ah, bollocks. I'll be a brave soldier. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. Do you know how to get into it? Yes, he does. Hurry up, then. And the first thing you're going to do is apologise to Bernie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen you do ten lines of dialogue and hit him up with no rehearsals in one bloody take. We give you the chance of a snog, and no, we're there for two and a half hours. It was scripted. It was a kiss. It was meant. A kiss is a kiss. And work is work. Marry me. I reckon i got a good ten years left in me. I want to spend them with you. Let me go, Sydney. Would you just listen to me for... No, no, don't. Just... Please, don't, all right? Oh. I've never been so humiliated in my life. It was a fight for the fruit between the extras and the props, boys. Boxing middle-sex wankers. I've never seen walk-on so enthusiastic. This is my last, absolutely my last. I'd rather do call my bluff. I love him to bits, but he's driving me mad. I've never met anyone who wasn't running around trying to make sense of their life by inflicting their sexual organs on everyone else. Or mewling in despair at the realization they're nothing more than a rotting bag of bones. Oh, Kenny. I'm so tired. People would laugh, Sid. People would laugh at us. Let them, I don't care. Well, I do. I've been a joke too much of my life. I'll lock my door at night and leave her outside. Leave her in Stanmore. We get a proper place. Sid. When you look at me, you don't see me. You see her, bubbly, bloody babs. So when I look at you, I see her in your eyes. I try to be me when I'm with you, but I'm not. She's there between us, and he's between us too. Good old Sid, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I'm with you, Sid, I don't know who the hell I am. Mrs. Kay! 
Mrs. K! Ronnie's been arrested. He's been what? What for? Nothing trivial, I hope. Suspicion of murder. You're joking. But he's not that sort of bloke. No, he knows that sort of bloke. But he's not one of them. I know. I bloody knew it. I knew they'd pick up Ronnie. He says you ought to get down to Hendon Nick straight away. Tell the stupid bastard I'm working. No, he was very insistent. Tell him he can go to hell. I told him not to threaten that bloke. Tell him I bloody warned him. Look, couldn't I tell him that you love him and that you'll stick by him no matter what? No, Eddie. You stick by him. You tell him you love him. Well, I'll give it a try. Come in. Oh, Sidney. What am I going to do? Well, you can stop worrying, but it's not. He's made his bed, he can lie on it. You can get on with your life. You can stop with a glass of lemonade. Mm. It's fate, that's what it is. From now on, everything's going to be hunky dory. End of the shoot, you and me, Capri. Or a Cortina down the Camber Sands. <laughs> We're going to have the time of our lives. I've got to make a phone call. Yeah. Mm. OK, tell him I love him. Tell him I'll be there as soon as I can. Oh, Eddie. And for as long as it takes. Thanks, Eddie. How long's that, then? How long's what? As long as it takes. Depends what they think they've got on him. Days? God help him, months. What if he goes down? He won't go down. He might. What if he does? He'll appeal. That could take years. Well, that's what I mean. That's what it means, as long as it takes. I'm 59. You're 61. You see? You selfish son. Yeah, but now listen. Don't say it, Sydney. Whatever it is, don't even think it. Why is it always him? Why does it have to be him? Because when I go home to Ronnie... You can't do that if he's in bloody Wandsworth. Oh, that's not the point. Well, what is the point? This is the point. You used to make me laugh. And you don't anymore. You make me unhappy. I'm unhappy because you're unhappy and you're unhappy because of me. That's a whole lifetime of unhappiness piling up around us unless one of us has the strength to give it up. I can't live without you. I'm not sure I can. I'm worn out. I'm wearing out. My back aches. I've had a cough since 1969. This eye's all blurred every morning. Nothing heals anymore. I don't want to get old. I can't stop you getting old, Sid. I'm the ones made you feel ancient in the first place. Now, pack in the self-pity. Doesn't suit you. Sometimes I can step outside this and see it for what it is. Other times, I get all confused. So choose. Choose now. Either put your arms around me or walk out that door and go home. You know what you really want. So choose.
south across the time, you'll be dead home tonight. And if you're looking for a good night out and you're a St. James fan, he's at the Empire Theatre all week in the mating season, so get yourself down there. understand. I want a more, a more. Well, you're not getting any more. <laughs> Great. See 37. Uh, come in. I need a massage. A general massage or a specific massage, Ambassador? No, specific, of course. I have a twinge in my shoulder. <gasps> what are you doing? Remove your hands from my trousers. No, I'm sorry. I've had enough. Complete drivel. Fine. No, you can stop it. Why don't we retire to the office and uh, have a little chat, huh? Not even likely. Hang on. Well, it's a relief to discover there's one of us left with a modicum of good taste. That leave us then. Well, Desperandum. It was only a cameo. It wouldn't be much. I oh, know. Oh, I didn't want to do much. Me neither. Not getting them out again. Not for enough cameo. <laughs> they all had them out in England. I blame Robin Asquith's bottom. They're desperate. Got to get mine out in this. Bloody desperate. He's resigned. Has he? Harold Wilson's gone to see the Queen. She will be pleased. It's a new era. A new beginning. Been offered a job been offered a job on James Bond I got a job anyway Chichester Festival 12th night mm, you're getting a bump yourself so how is your bum <sighs> ask the Spanish Inquisition they seem to have taken up permanent residence. I can't just walk into makeup. I fear I may have cultivated a small vineyard down there. Oh, please. Have a butcher's? No. Fifteen years we've known each other. You won't even take a quick peek at my rear end. If that's your definition of friendship, I'm not surprised you haven't got any. Oh, yes. Well, I'm well aware that your twin contributions to world culture stand at an altogether higher echelon. Slightly lower lately. And there's some sort of test you can do with a pencil. Yeah, I've tried it. I managed six pencils, a ruler and a fountain pen, then I gave up. Well, if you're ever tired of acting, you do well at W.H. Smith's. <laughs> he keeps phoning. And? I keep not answering. Going all over the world, you only live twice. All over the world, I get to go. You leaving? Singapore, they're going. And Australia. This bloody script is just one long, relentless string of badly written jokes. Cobbled together with disdain for the actors, and complete contempt for the audience. One of the most morally and aesthetically offensive pieces of work I think I've ever read. I think I'll just camp it up. That's <laughs> what I admire about you, Kenny. Always searching for an original approach. <laughs> Five minutes, Sid. Thirty years old. All I want's a life. That's not asking too much, is it? No. That's not asking too much at all.
I'm fine. Just got a phone to missus. Here we go, then. Venus unveiled. What you doing, Chris? Kenny, boy, mommy drink. You do yourself a bitch. Oh, my God. Oh, Kenny, no! Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, so fair dues. I want to walk onto that sound stage exuding confidence from every orifice. Oh, well? Oh, it's... Kenny, put it away, for God's sake. It's fine, as bottoms go. Yeah, I know how bottoms go. That's what I'm worried about. Kenneth, I'm trying to eat. Would you say it was perky? Not exactly. Amusing? Not very, no. It's gruesome, isn't it? Oh, no, hang on a second. I've got some toupee tape in my bag. Scrape the cleavage. Kenneth, put it away. Yeah, this is a private consultation, thank you. You want some peas, parsley, and potatoes. You make me love you. Hey, Evening. You look happy. Why shouldn't I be happy? I'm young, attractive, and sexy. And what's more important, I have a very vivid imagination. There you go. Pretty as a picture. It's not exactly a Michelangelo. Well, as long as it's less of a Stanley Spencer. It belongs in the British Museum, Kenny. <laughs> yeah. I should be a permanent feature. Facing the door as you come in with an inscription on me buttocks. The end is nigh! <laughs> 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 This is it, Sid. Any minute now, the future Mrs. Sid Gillespie's gonna walk through that door. Where's my speech? I left it on the table. Sydney! Sydney, where are you? I'm here, Stella. Oh, what are you doing down there? Getting up. <laughs> How are you, Stella? You're looking very smart. Well, you're looking very swish yourself, Sydney. <laughs> I like your buttonhole. May I smell it? I'll go then, shall I? <laughs> shall I sit down? Are you going to offer me a drink? Oh, come on, Sid. I've come all this way and this is how you treat me. <clears throat> Sydney, have you fallen asleep? Sid. turned on the international cabaret last night and I heard canned laughter. It smothered me in canned laughter and I recognised it. It's the same tape they use for all the sitcoms. They use it on Bless This House. 
You can actually recognize individual morons cackling away like the living dead. I realized with some horror they could well have been laughing at Sid. Didn't know to feel sorrier for them or me. Them mindlessly guffawing away through eternity or me. Slogging me guts out for laughs. That weren't even mine. This fellow's wise enough to play the fool. And to do that well, craves a kind of wit. He must observe their mood on whom he jests, the quality of persons, and the time. Thank you, gentlemen. And you, sir. Will you enter the hut? Uh, my nieces uh, desire you to enter, if uh, your train be the law. I am back to your niece, sir. I mean, she is the list of my voyage. Very good, very good. Just tell me. What kind of woman is it? Of your complexion. She is not worthy, then. What years, of faith? About your years, my lord. Too old, by heaven. Let still the woman take an elder than herself. So wears she to him. So sways she level in her husband's heart. Good, 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 good. But, Helen, how much older is Orsino than Olivia? How much older are you? Well, I'm... You sure you should be here? Oh, yes. I like few knows. Good. Let's do it again, then. From the same place. What kind of woman is it? Of your complexion. She is not worthy, then. What years, of faith? About your years, my lord. Too old, by heaven. Let still the woman take an elder than herself. So wear she to him. So sway she level in her husband's heart. Poor boy. However we do praise ourselves, our fancies are more giddy and unsure. Should have towed it away. They should have given it to me. I should have called him back. It wasn't you. It was the drink. He could have entered his liver in the Olympics. He had a heart attack, sweetheart. He was probably humping the ASM. <laughs> you know the last thing he said to me? He said he didn't like himself. You're the only person I know who does. The rest of us grieve. We grieve for the person we dreamed of being and never grew into. Oh, cheer up. Do you believe in heaven? You're
you're no doubt expecting a cynical retort. But yes, I do, as a matter of fact. What's it like, do you think? Well, it's whatever you most fancy. It's not lounging about on a cloud with angels in togas, then? <laughs> well, in my case, that's just about spot on. They'd have to be lewd little angels, though. I imagine a banqueting table, piled eye with whatever you never got enough of. One long, eternal Roman orgy. You're so deep. I think heaven's been left alone with a steam back in the edit suite. You sit in front of your life and you're allowed to re-edit it. Cut the rotten bits, loop the sex, montage the good moments. Live it over and over, a bit better every time. And eventually, make it perfect. Are you all right? Oh, what's the bloody point? We were laughing, remember? The evening Sid died. Maybe that's the point. Oh, come on. Where are we going, then? Well, there's a small steakhouse in Stanmore where the owner, if she's in the mood, will ply the clientele with so much free booze you can get way beyond depressed. You can get to fuck it all and the horse it rode in on. I've given up drink. Makes me maudlin. That's because you haven't discovered the cure. What's that, then? Brent Cross. Oh, who's he? Oh, it's a shopping mall. Mm. <laughs> Soppy date. Well, I use the co-op. <laughs> Hiya. Hello, darling. Well, I wouldn't say no to a free meal. But if you think I'm traipsing round the shops dragging carrier bags for your new knickers, you've got another thing coming. Unbelievable. <laughs> Stand by your beds for Carry On Matron at five past twelve. And coming up on BBC Two, bringing Kenneth Williams back to painfully vivid life. Michael Sheen gives a heartbreaking, brilliant performance in Fantabulosa next. <laughs> 